Learning objectives include transduction. Transduction is a third way or for lateral gene transfer or horizontal gene transfer for, from one bacterium to another. There are viruses that can infect a bacterium. These viruses are called bacteriophages or simply phages. As you can see here in this picture, this is a, a phage or a virus that is infecting and injecting its DNA or nucleic acid DNA into the, the organisms and then organisms can synthesize whatever is required for microbial for, for viral synthesis or replication. And what happens is that sometimes when the virus is replicating and being packaged inside the cell, it also takes up bacterial DNA. See, this is a bacterial DNA which is blue here. This is viral DNA which is pink here. As you can see, after the replication is over, you can see that this phage or virus has its own DNA which is pink. But one of uh, the two, two of these viruses have acquired bacterial DNA during uh, replication. And when this organism, this phage or virus would infect another bacterium, it would transfer this bacterial DNA into uh, this organism, in this bacterium. And sometimes this newly acquired gene from another bacterium gets integrated into the chromosome and becomes part of the chromosome. So this is how this bacterium would acquire whatever this gene is for. Uh, if we watch, and there are two kinds of uh, transductions. One is called generalized, where any gene can be packaged or can be transferred from uh, one bacterium to the other by these viruses. And the other one is called specialized, where only certain genes, uh, they're preferentially transferred from one microorganism to the other organism, microorganisms through these viruses. And let's just watch these videos. Uh, it, it'll be more obvious and more clear to you. In transduction, DNA from the chromosome of one cell is transferred to another cell via a replicating virus. A virus that infects bacteria is called a bacteriophage or phage. There are two types of transduction, generalized transduction and specialized transduction. Generalized transduction, as shown here, is initiated during the lytic cycle of virulent bacteriophage. The donor DNA can be any fragment of the bacterial chromosome. Specialized transduction, which is shown on a separate animation, is initiated during the lysogenic cycle of a temperate bacteriophage, and the donor DNA is a very specific part of the bacterial chromosome adjacent to the prophage. At the beginning of generalized transduction in bacteria, a bacteriophage attaches to a bacterial cell wall and inserts its DNA. The phage commandeers the bacterial cellular machinery to synthesize the new phage DNA and produce phage proteins. In order to completely convert the bacterium into an efficient virus-producing factory, some of the phage proteins break the bacterial DNA up into small pieces. Normally, Phage DNA is coated with phage protein to form new virus particles, but sometimes pieces of bacterial DNA are mistakenly packaged in phage proteins. These sloppily packaged phage particles carry bacterial DNA rather than phage DNA and are called transducing phages. When a transducing phage, composed of phage proteins and bacterial DNA, infects a new host, the phage injects the bacterial DNA into the new bacterial host. The infected bacterium sometimes incorporates this DNA into its own chromosome through recombination, resulting in the transfer of genes from the donor bacterium to the recipient bacterium. So this was a generalized transduction where you saw that any gene could be incorporated into the head of the virus and then that virus can infect another microorganism transferring that gene. Now, let's watch specialized uh, gene transfer or specialized transduction. Specialized transduction is initiated during the lysogenic cycle of temperate bacteriophages. Recall that during the lysogenic cycle, phage DNA becomes incorporated into the bacterial chromosome. The phage DNA is now called a prophage and can be transferred to subsequent generations of cells each time the DNA is replicated. During induction, when the prophage is excised from the host chromosome, 
It occasionally takes with it some of the bacterial chromosomal genes. This phage DNA with the attached bacterial genes then begins the lytic cycle, where it's replicated and becomes packaged into new bacteriophages. The bacteriophages are released when the cell bursts. One of the bacteriophages attaches to another bacterial cell, the recipient. The phage releases the DNA into the recipient cell, and it becomes incorporated into the recipient's chromosome. Now the recipient cell has a prophage plus new bacterial genes from the donor cell. This recipient cell is a recombinant cell because it's received DNA from another bacterium. Specialized transduction can be used to transfer antibiotic resistance from one bacterium to another. The donor bacterial cell has a resistance gene we will call R. As a prophage is excised from the donor cell, it takes the R gene with it. Copies of this DNA are made and packaged into phage particles. When one of these phages infects a recipient cell that is not resistant, the R gene is transferred to the recipient's chromosome. Now this cell becomes antibiotic resistant due to acquisition and expression of the R gene. So, in summary, uh, phages could also be used uh, for transferring genes from one microorganism to the other. And there are two processes. One is called generalized uh, transduction, where any gene could be transferred. And the second one is specialized, where the viral genome has to get integrated into the organism first. And then when, when it cleaves off, it brings part of the bacterial chromosomes as well. And because it, it, it targets only adjacent genes that are associated with the viral genome uh, in transferring from one organism to the, to the other, it is, that is the reason it is called specialized um, transduction. Thank you.